Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. Today we're doing a foundation wear test, which are one of my favorite videos to film. Um, if you've been following me on my blog, I have recently introduced that I will be doing a lot more um, beauty blogging about cleaner, safer beauty products. It's just something that I really should have probably been thinking about a long time ago when I was struggling with my infertility in the beginning. Um, but now that I actually have a baby, I have definitely been exploring and trying other brands that are a little safer and a little cleaner. One of them I would be ignorant to not mention has been Beauty Counter. Um, obviously from the title of the video, you know that we're doing the Beauty Counter Tint Skin Hydrating Foundation Wear Test, but just to give you a little gist about what this product is, what this brand's about and all that stuff, because um, they were the number one most Googled beauty brand in 2018. Um, Beauty Counter is a B Corp, which means they are socially driven, mission driven, and extremely transparent with their um, business practices. They are a direct sales company like an MLM, but they're not just an, ML an MLM. They You can shop on their website without a consultant. You can shop with a consultant. You can shop in some brick and mortar stores across the country, like in New York City. I think they have a store in Soho um, and some other bigger cities as well. And they've also done like pop-up small um, shops at stores like Target. So they're really a disruptive brand. It's not your normal MLM and their products are very much focused on not only being cleaner and safer, but high performing. And that is the key for someone like me and you guys, if you are into beauty, it has been very hard for me to find cleaner, safer products that actually perform as well as my higher end Sephora and Ulta brands that I recommend to you guys all the time that I think are the best of the best. Beauty Counter has done products that are just as good as those, but better and safer for you. So because of that, in a very small nutshell, I am now a Beauty Counter consultant. So if you want to try some of the products and support me because I'm helping educate you guys on the brand, I really appreciate it. I do have my link below, but you do not have to use it. I just have to tell you that I am an affiliate um, or a consultant now. Um, but besides that, even if you don't want to shop through my link, I do encourage you to watch a couple videos I'm going to link below about the brand, how it's not the same because you guys know me, I'm very no BS. So if I'm like willing to put myself out there and say that I'm um, affiliated with this company, it's really for a good reason and because I feel very strongly about their products and the mission. Um, but even if you don't shop through my link and you just want to shop independently, definitely do it because their products are really good, guys. I'm, I don't care if you don't even shop through my link. I think you should try the brand. So um, just to kind of kick things off with some stuff on my channel, it would be you know, not true to myself if I didn't start introducing you guys to the products that I've been loving without doing a foundation wear test. So anyway, um, let's get into some of the details about the product. So this is a hydrating foundation. It has light to medium buildable coverage. So a little different than what I'm kind of used to. I do tend to kind of go for more of the medium buildable, um, but I really love the way this builds. I've been using this nonstop for the last few weeks. Um, my skin just looks really pretty. I've had my friends comment like that foundation actually literally looks good. Like your skin looks good and that is a big deal to me. As you guys know, I love that Hourglass Luminous Light Powder for that same reason. Like it just makes your skin look pretty. It's not the makeup. So that's why I really like this. Um, it comes in 10 shades, so not the widest uh, shade range, but because it's so sheer to buildable, you definitely have like a wider range of people that can fit into each shade than a normal foundation because it's not so boom with the pigment. When you have a foundation that is high, high pigment, you cannot just make 10 shades. You have to make 40 something shades because you're basically painting your face. So when you have a foundation that isn't as pigmented, don't judge it because it has fewer shades. That's just, that's normal. Um, do I think 10 shades is the best they could do? No, I don't. I think like 15 to 20 shades would be better in this formula, but here we are. So um, anyway, I wear shade Honey right now. I'm not sure if I would need to downgrade to, I think Sand is the lighter color in the fall or winter yet because it is kind of really buildable. So. Um, yeah, what's really cool about this product also is it has a lot of sodium hyaluronic, which is a derivative of hyaluronic acid, which I'm huge into for hydrating and binding water to the skin, which is what I think makes, 
my skin look so nice and not just the makeup. Um, I have found that this is a very long wearing product too. That's something Beauty Counter, because they focus on high performance products, that's something that is important to them is that the products don't fade off of your face after a while, which kind of happens a lot with cleaner and safer beauty brands. So um, at the end of the day, I feel like my skin looks just as pretty as it did in the morning when I first applied it. So I wanted to kind of give you guys um, a glimpse into what a day of wearing this would look like. So if you're interested in seeing how I apply this and how it performs, how it builds up, and then obviously how it wears throughout the day, let's get into the application. This is my Tint Skin Foundation. I'm wearing the shade Honey. I have applied this two different ways with my fingers and with um, a brush. And that's the two ways I'm gonna apply it today because those are the two ways I found are my favorite ways to apply it. So on this side, I'll probably use the brush and then this side I'll use my fingers. So um, it has the nice little nozzle applicator. So I've actually just been putting a little bit on my face using um, like just squeezing it out like this instead of like I normally put foundation on like the back of my hand or something. Um, I do notice I use more of it when I use a brush, but I'm also just somebody who doesn't like to have makeup on my hands. Like it drives me nuts. So let's try not to get my earring dirty. And it is very buildable. So this is actually funny that I, use the brush on this side because this is the side I need more coverage on today because I have, as you can see, a couple old spots fading here. So you'll really get to see how it layers, which is good. I found that this is just the most natural looking foundation. I never really realized how unnatural even my most natural foundations looked until this. And what I keep saying to friends is that, and I might have even said this in the intro, so I apologize, it's just the way that you film these videos, you have to do this part first and then film the intro, um, is I feel like this is the It Cosmetic CC Cream, just way more natural looking. Like, because the It Cosmetic CC Cream gives you wonderful coverage, but I personally find it does look makeup-y, you know? Whereas this ends up looking like your skin, but better. And that's what the It Cosmetic CC Cream it says but it really doesn't at least in my experience like it looks nice don't get me wrong but it definitely doesn't look natural like you definitely look like you have makeup on okay so just adding a little more with the brush and again it's not going to build to full coverage it builds to me light medium medium coverage but to be honest that's fine for my normal like for my skin and then if there really are spots like that that are still showing through after a couple layers that's what concealer is for so um a lot of people just expect like their foundation to mask all imperfections but then what is the point of concealer foundation is supposed to just even things out majority of the way and then you're supposed to perfect with your concealer and that's why sometimes makeup can look too heavy so anyway um that's about two layers just f I usually leave it here and then add the concealer but just to show you guys like if I were to add a third um with the brush how it looks but to be honest I don't do that so I'm going to just show you what I would normally do so at this point if I really wanted to build up the coverage in a certain spot I do use my fingers because that's what I'm going to do here and you'll see the fingers tend to do a little more coverage so um here are the spots that I have just a little more discoloration and it seems to just melt into the skin like skin and I'm sorry that I'm not like I don't know where I'm looking because I have a mirror in front of me that I'm making sure I don't look like a circus clown so okay that's what we look like so pretty much looks like my skin just a little bit better right like I have those marks still and that's okay we'll, we'll fix that um, but my skin looks healthy glowing and more perfect so, um, going on the other side, <laughs> this side with my fingers. So, again, I will just apply it on my face. I don't know why I'm wearing my earrings now. That was a dumb move because they're white earrings and they're going to probably have makeup on them. So, it seems like I put more, but it's actually just a thinner, like I spread it out more. So, okay. 
So when you use your fingers, you can just literally apply it like you're putting on a moisturizer. But see, the coverage is just way better with the fingers, which is so funny. I don't usually find that to be the case with most BB creams, CC creams, foundations. I personally find that my brush typically is, so it's funny that this formula, for some reason, the brush does not give me the fullest application. But for those of you who don't have a ton of brushes, this is a great option. And it's also quicker. I mean, it really is. Like, as much as I hate makeup on my hands, you definitely can't deny the convenience and speed factor. All right, so once it's mostly blended in, I kind of just tap it in the rest of the way to blend and make sure there's no like streakiness or um, patchiness. So blend it down the neck a little bit. Okay, I think, let me get my mirror. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Let me make sure my nose is even. All right, I like that. So here, <laughs> here's the finger application. So you still see the little bit of discoloration, but it looks really natural. So um, I'm now just gonna go in with the concealer to show you guys what that does when you actually just apply concealer after. And I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape, it's my holy grail. It's clean of um, a Formula Beauty Counter is. Um, I just, I'm not ready to let go of my Tarte Shape Tape, so um, this is where you would do your concealer. So, okay, here's those spots that just wouldn't go away with just the foundation alone, right? Okay, and again, I pat it in very lightly. You don't want to like smash your finger in, because then you're going to move the product. I know it probably looks a little ashy right there on camera. That won't be once we are all done. I kind of just blend it all around, pat very gently. Okay, there we go. And then some things on this side. Oh, and I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. I also just got, I think, medium sand, um, which is a slightly more yellow toned one for me, which I think is better because as you saw, I think you could tell when I applied it on this side, it had a little bit of like an ashy hue, which is because it's a little too beige. Medium sand was a little more yellow. So I'm excited to use that one when this one runs out like really soon. Okay, so that's concealer now. So now those blemishes on my face are literally gone, but yeah, my skin looks super natural. Um, let me get a little closer so you guys can see. Let me make sure the camera's focusing. So obviously you still see it on my eyes, but my skin looks really healthy, very natural, but like perfected. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. All right, so I have all my makeup on now. As you guys can see, the skin looks super natural. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what more to say. So just to quickly recap, I will link as much um, below what I'm wearing, but off of that, um, my eyebrows are Benefit Cabrow, the pomade. Bronzer is Nars Laguna. Blush is MAC Gingerly. Highlight is Makeup Geek Starlight. Lips are um, Beauty Counter Bare Shimmer. Concealer you saw, Tarte Shape Tape. My eyeshadow is like a mix of a couple MAC shades. Sable and Soft Brown are the main two colors. Soft Brown through the crease and Sable on the lid. I just have a black eyeliner on, some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I think that's the gist of it. Oh, um, my lip pencil is Pat McGrath Contour. So it's just the lip pencil. I don't know where it is right now. Oh, here. This lip pencil, it's like a nude brownie with the Beauty Counter Bare Shimmer Gloss. All right, I will check in with you guys later tonight. So that's what it looks like right now. Let me get a little closer. So now that you can see like how it all looks like when everything's on, those spots are gone. Like once you apply the concealer, um, your blush, bronzer, and all that stuff, it all kind of covers any last bits up. So that's what we're looking like. All right, see you later. Three, two, one. All right, guys, I'm on. This closing footage is on my iPhone because for some reason my DSLR is not like doing remote shooting right now. 
I filmed a lot of videos today, like at least four, and maybe it's just about done. So, um, unfortunately, I don't know if the quality on the iPhone is going to be as, like, HD worthy for you guys to really, um, see close up, but whatever. So, anyway, I obviously have a mirror here in front of me. Um, I think at first glance you guys can see, don't worry about my eyes because they're really tired. Um, it's not even 9 o'clock at night, guys. It's 8.55 p.m. So it's 9 o'clock at night now. So what is that, 11 hours? I am so tired. Last night was the first night we let Savannah sleep in her room by herself. Like, she's been napping in her crib by herself, but she sleeps in a pack and play in my room since she was brought home from the hospital. And last night was the first night we let her sleep um, in her crib overnight. And I did not sleep at all. So I look really tired because um, I'm actually filming this and getting ready for bed. So anyway, back to the makeup. As you can tell, if you just like don't like disregard my actual eyes and how tired they are, my skin looks pretty good, I feel like. Um, obviously, this is not full coverage and I'm totally okay with that. I like that my skin still looks like skin. Um, I don't mind some bits of blemishes showing through on an everyday basis. Um, again, I said in the beginning, that's what concealer is for. I just want my skin to look pretty. So if at the end of the day, it looks basically like this, I feel really good about it. I also really like that my like pores look like they've breathe, been able to breathe all day. There's like no congestion or anything. Um, there's no weird settling into fine lines or breaking down with the exception of as always here for me but you guys know if you watch my other foundation videos that is like with every um brand but i just think my skin looks really pretty so i'm gonna pull you in a little closer with the actual palm like just bring it up to my face um so this might look really weird but um okay so actually i don't know maybe you guys will actually like these this video like on the iphone better because you can really see the skin um, so look at my cheek, like look at how, this was the side with my fingers. I feel like my face looks so naturally flawless. Like I don't feel like I look very makeup-y. Um, this was the side that I had like those little blemishes here, but still like, okay, yeah, I had these blemishes here and they're not perfectly covered, but who cares? I feel like the skin looks really pretty. Um, this isn't like, you know, makeup we're wearing to a pageant. Um, even like the nose breakdown, like, yeah, I have that, I always have that line cause I like this a lot. Um, but again, I, like I always say, I can just smooth that out. If I really wanted to, I could have powdered. I didn't. I literally left it all day. The forehead looks pretty legit. Like my 11s, you can kind of see them, but like nothing settled into fine lines or anything. So even like around my eye area, I don't know. I think everything looks really good. No negatives, and that's not just because I'm a consultant. This is literally part of why I became a consultant because I feel like the products perform just as good as my Ulta and Sephora stuff, but they're so much better for me. So it's like a no brainer. Like, why would you not, you know, endorse and recommend products to your friends, family, whatever that perform really well and are really good for you? Like, that's just. I couldn't not take up the opportunity. So I hope you guys understand and have done your research on Beauty Counter and know that this is not like a bunch of the other ones. It's really different. So anyway, I hope this was helpful in deciding if you would like to try the um, Hydrating Tint Skin Foundation. Again, since I am a consultant, I will leave my link to shop below if you wanna shop with me. I do tend to like to send out some freebies now and again, so I would appreciate your support. And if you have any questions about anything else Beauty Counter, you can definitely leave them below um, or email me. My email is in the description box too if you have questions or want like some personal recommendations. I would be happy to help you. So anyway, hope you guys like this and I'll talk to you later. Good night.